For a full copy of today's recipe, check us out on Facebook at Poppy's Cucina or right here on YouTube under the community tab. All right, let's get started. Let's see what we're making. Today we're making this unbelievably beautiful and so super easy. Oh, and it's so delicious. <gasps> Muscat pudding, maple, apple bread. Oh, look at this. Look at it. Oh, that looks amazing. And it's so easy. So easy. Yum. thing you're going to do is you're going to heat up your one and a half cups of water to between 110 and 120 degrees. Where are we at? 116. Perfect. So it says we're going to add one yeast packet or two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. All right, so we're going to give that a stir. We're going to allow that to proof, uh, to bloom, I'm sorry, for about five, ten minutes. You're going to see a nice big head on it. And it's going to smell like beer. Mm, beer. <laughs> so while we're waiting for the yeast to bloom, in your large bowl, you're going to add three and one quarter cups of all-purpose flour. You want to use all-purpose flour for this recipe because it won't make an as crusty bread. But if you want to use bread flour, go for it. Half a cup of sugar, a half teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, along with two cups of a finely diced apple. Um, you want to make the dice nice and small. And you want to use a nice tart apple. I'm using Granny Smith, um, but if you can use whatever apples you got on hand, go for it. So I'm just going to mix this with a fork until everything is evenly distributed. Just like that. And now you want to add your bloomed yeast. So we're just going to pour that right in. And you're going to mix this all together with that fork. You don't need a stand mixer or anything, just until there's no loose dough or flour, sorry. <laughs> So you want your dough to be sticky, but this is a little too wet. So I'm going to up the recipe and instead of a three and a quarter cups of flour, we're going to do three and three quarter cups of flour. So I added this other half cup and now we're going to mix that in. Now this is perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, I failed to realize that the apples were going to probably release a little bit of moisture into the, the dough. So that's what happened. Um, so if you need to add a little bit more flour, you could add actually up to four cups, go for it. But like I said, you want it to be kind of sticky. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up tightly with some plastic wrap and we're going to allow it to sit in a warm spot for one hour. I'm just going to let it proof for one hour. That's all it takes. See, told you this recipe was easy. Okay, so the bread's been proofing for about 30 minutes. Now would be a good time to preheat your oven to 425 degrees because you want to allow your Dutch oven to preheat for at least 15 minutes before we add the uh, bread bowl to it. So now we're going to make our swirl filling. So in this small bowl, I added half a cup of softened mascarpone cheese, half a cup of packed brown sugar, two tablespoons of maple syrup, along with one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now we're going to mix this up so it's all nice, smooth, and creamy, and we're going to set it aside. Okay, so our bread is, our dough has been proofing for just about an hour. See nice and poofy you got? Oh, and that smell of cinnamon. Oh, it smells wonderful. All right, so now we're going to scrape this onto a lightly floured surface. So sticky. You want it sticky. Make sure you get all that beautiful dough and don't forget the apples. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to top it with a little bit of flour. And then we're going to fold it in on itself just a few times until it gets nice and smooth. Okay. Just like that. Now we're going to spread this out to about an 8 by 10 rectangle. I'm going to make this a nice big rectangle. Make sure to add some more flour if you need. I, I clearly need. <laughs> but this is a no need bread. Always with the jokes. So what do you think of this recipe? Easy so far? Looks good? Sounds good? Let us know in the comments. All right. So now we have this spread out like that. Now remember the swirl mixture you made? We're going to spread this right onto the top of our dough. Try to get it as nice and even as possible. All right. So we're going to continue to spread this just like that. And now we're going to roll it up. So you're going to start from one end and then you're going to try to keep it as tight as possible. I'm just going to keep rolling, 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 rolling. 
just like that. Just like that. Then onto a sheet of parchment paper it goes. Now we're going to remove our Dutch oven from the oven, take off the lid, lower this carefully into the Dutch oven, put the lid back on, and then into the oven it's going to go for 30 minutes. Make sure you set that timer. Once 30 minutes are up, take off the lid, and then you're going to cook it for another 10-15 minutes, depending on the level of darkness that you want your dough to be. But that's all it takes. <laughs> so easy. Go into the oven, it's going to go. So this has been the oven for 30 minutes. Time for the big reveal. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh my. Does that look like something else? Wow. Wow. Oh, it even has a beautiful browning to. But I'm going to put it back in the oven. Just probably maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. We'll see. If you want it really dark, put it in for like 15. But oh, this looks incredible. Oh, I can't wait. But we're going to put it back in the oven. So 10 minutes later, we pulled it out of the oven. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, but it's so hot, it's so hot. So we're gonna allow this to cool for an hour before we give this a try, but wow, does that look good? And it smells phenomenal. Mmm. <gasps> bon appetito. Mmm. <laughs> First of all, the bread is perfect. Cooked perfectly. Perfect crumb, right amount of chew. Then you get the hints of the cinnamon and the apple. But then you get to that mascot bone and maple cream. Oh, it's everything. Everything, it's so good. Mm. And so easy to make. This will make a phenomenal French toast. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> so if you try this recipe, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks! And now who's ready for that drink? Oh yeah! Oh. Alright, so for today's Fall Fling Sour, oh yeah, we're going to start with an ounce and a half of whiskey. One ounce of apple schnapps. An ounce of amaretto. Half an ounce or a tablespoon of maple syrup. And then about two ounces of sour mix. We're gonna give us a good shaky shaky and we pour let's see let's see oh, looks pretty good it's looking darn yummy let me tell you looks like cider fun let's give it a try salute all right get the apple get the almond get the sour get the whiskey bird oh and that beautiful maple finish oh this is just fabulous Oh, it's just like chilling and warming at the same time. Amazing! <laughs> you have to try this drink recipe. And if you do, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Love you guys.